I had been thinking about research. Uh, like I, I'm in clinical psychology right now, just my first year. Um, and I know we're doing research more in the social personality vein, but that's still a really strong interest for me. So it's encouraging to know that you can balance this clinical work and do good research and enjoy both. So yeah, I, I think that was a really, really important step going forward. It's the hands-on practical portion, I would say. It's not sitting in the classroom. It's even more so than the lab, because in the lab you get a list of things to do, and you have to follow them with your undergrad research project, although there's a lot of support for you, you're kind of given this certain independence where you get to plan and you have to come up with a solution to a problem, and it's more you're on your own, which is nice. Sometimes when you're learning things in the classroom, they seem very abstract, or you're, you're sort of compartmentalizing the process. You're learning about you know, adequate research designs, or you're learning about um, you know, how to do this statistical procedure, but when you put it all together, it seems like it's something entirely different. And it's yours, it's something you're responsible for, it's something that you know, you've taken from the beginning to end, and suddenly all these things you've learned in classes make more sense and you really wish you remembered more of them. It really helps you decide whether or not you want to you know, start a real job, as they say, or go into your masters. It's a trial run, so you can see you know, if you would be a good researcher, if it interests you. I couldn't think of a reason not to do it.